Hi, this is 666 Guides. Today we're going to get started using C++ as a programming language. Let's open up the compiler. The compiler I'm using is Visual C++ 2008. Um, any other compiler would work if you were using Div C++ or something like that. With the same principles. So let's jump into this. The first thing we want to do is include IO stream, which is going to be our library we're going to be using. Um, the next thing, using namespace std with a semicolon on the end of that. You have to get used to putting a semicolon on because you'll have to do that on a lot of lines of code. Pretty much every line of code, it ends it, it so the program knows it's finished. The next would be our main function, which is main, and that's the, it's the main part of the program, where it's the first thing the program will read when you compile it. So in here we need an opening Kelly brace, then we're going to do C out, followed by these what kind of bracket things you got to remember which direction they're facing because there's a different one for C out and then there's an opposite direction for C in which I'll show you later so don't worry about that um, let's see okay so basically what it does is C out prints out the hello world and then these little bracket things like keep pushing the code down to the end, pushing the compiler to read it, and then the end L that just means end line, so it's like press return key. The computer will do that automatically, so there's a new line. So then after this, we need a closing curly brace. Now, in um, Visual Studio, you don't have to, it'll pause it automatically, but if you was in like Dev C or some other C compiler, you would have to use a function like the two you could use simple ones which is the first one would be sin dot get and then them and the second one would be system pause with the same syntax as them so that's what you'd do for that but on this we don't have to we can just go to start without debugging and then we go hello world okay um, any other things I need to talk about and um, the STD pretty much that just means standard it's just the standard library so you can use things in the program like the C out if we didn't have this we'd have to do do it like this otherwise it won't recognize it so that helps like recognize it and the same goes for the other functions and um, the thing I was talking about earlier with these little bracket things would be you got two functions that it's C out and then there's C in which is the same and the brackets for them go the opposite direction you gotta remember which way they go for each one otherwise you'll get an error pretty much the C in will point to the code and the C out points to the C out that's how you remember, remember that. Alright. Uh, that's all. The next lesson will start getting into more complex things. This is just an introduction. Start, as, start you off. So, until next time.